Welcome to the second tutorial in the Robot Studio Getting Started series. In this tutorial, we will open the project from our previous tutorial, and we will create a virtual controller from layout. Look at different ways of jogging the robot. And conclude the tutorial by saving the project. Let's begin. From the File tab, click on Open. Select the project which we created in our previous tutorial. We only have our robot model IRB140 in the station. To create a virtual controller from layout, click on the Home tab. Click on Virtual Controller. Select the option from layout. Select a suitable name and location for our virtual controller. Next, we select the mechanism to be included in our virtual controller. In our case it is IRB140. Always remember to add mechanisms such as tracks or positioners to your station before creating a virtual controller. Depending on the mechanisms that are added, an appropriate robot wear version is selected automatically, or we can select another version which is installed and compatible. On the controller options page, we have the option to align the task frame and edit the controller options. Since we have a single robot system, we will align our task frame with the base frame of our robot. Click on Finish. Our virtual controller will be created and started. Depending on the size of the station this can take a few minutes. The controller status can be seen down in the right corner. When the status of our virtual controller has turned green, our virtual controller is ready. Remember a robot which is not connected to a controller, cannot be programmed. Now let's try to jog the robot. From the Home tab, under Freehand, we can see the option to jog joint. Once selected, we can select the axis by pressing the left button on our mouse, and then jog the joints by moving the mouse while keeping the left button pressed. Try it with the robot in your station. We can also select Move and Rotate option. This enables us to move and rotate any object or the TCP, along the axes of the Active Reference Coordinate System. Note that, we can use Move and Rotate tool not to just move the TCP of the robot, but also to move and rotate any object present in the station. Please try it with the robot in your station. We can click on the mechanism under the project tree, which would enable the Modify tab, on the top menu. Under Motion, we can see the option for Mechanism Jog Joint. Click on it to display the Jog Browser window, where we can jog the various joints of the selected mechanism. We can also see the option for Mechanism Linear Jog. Click on it to display the Jog Browser window, where we can linearly jog the various axes of the selected mechanism. This will move the robot in a straight line, from its current position to the final position. All the joints will be moved as required, to keep the TCP of the robot on path and with consistent orientation. We can typically use this kind of jogging, when the robot needs to enter a confined space. Please try this out with the robot in your virtual controller. From Move to Pose option, you can select Jump Home, to bring back the robot to its home position. Finally we can save the project from the File tab, by clicking on Save Project. Note that we can also use this save icon on top, to save the project. Once the project is saved, you can see an event log generated in the output window. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe for more tutorials like this.